In Grand Forks tonight, a group of people are opting to hoping to bring change to the city by opening a harm reduction center. A petition was started with that goal in mind. Valley News team's Aaron Walling brings us the story. In Grand Forks, a group of people are hoping to inspire others to bring a harm reduction center to their area, and they are doing it through a petition. It makes me think to myself, why not? Why don't we have one when we know we need one? Casey Ferry is a recovering addict who says her addiction greatly altered her life. I lost everything in addiction. Um, I lost a home, husband, a daughter. She turns 14 tomorrow. She's everything to me, and I watched it just leave all to my addiction. Ferry believes a harm reduction center will help those like her who are battling addiction. It would mean less overdoses, fatalities. It mean that we're allowing people to get services so they don't be using dirty needles. They'll be using clean syringes. It'd be less infectious diseases. South of Grand Forks, the city of Fargo has its own harm reduction center. More than 300 people are serviced there each month according to the Fargo Cass Public Health, yeah, uh, with a plethora of resources. This includes Narcan and, and clean needles. We have seen that need continue to increase, especially when COVID came. Um, we saw just more and more need for the services and the supplies that we're able to provide at our harm reduction center. With the hope of helping those find the road to recovery. We need to meet people where they're at. We need to find ways to connect with them in ways that we can ultimately make them feel as comfortable as possible. In Grand Forks, Air Walling, Valley News Live. For more information on the petition, go to valleynewslive.com or your free VNL News app and click on this story.